Rock. Allá del lado izquierdo está la ingeniería azucarero y una fábrica de procesamiento de bagazo de caña para producción de eh, bioenergía eh, y también de combustible. ¿eh? So what happened between the two colonies that was formed, you know, in the middle of the 1700? Haiti became the number one colony of the French, the one that promotes, you know, give them more money. Um, but in 1791, they initiated, you know, to uh, get together to fight against uh, against the French. In 1804, Haiti obtained their independence, fighting against the French. It was, you know, a kind of a, um, how can I say, it? Um, reference, you know, for the people, you know, of the freedom, because they fight against the French, you know. Anyway, um, once they got their independence, they took the country, and they got the country with a lot of money, so that means they were not so poor, they were kind of a fancy country, when they were a colony of the, Spanish, of the French, they were fancy, and then when they became a country, they were still fancy because they had good economy. Unfortunately, the leaders of the country were the ones that ruined it. But not immediately, uh, immediately. Not immediately, you know. It took them, it took them a little while, you know, to uh, do the damage. But I have to tell you that, uh, in 1821, almost two decades after Haiti became independent, we got independent from Spanish. And then when we got independent from Spanish, we decided to uh, get the commission, you know, to send it to Haiti to talk about, you know, the situation of the island and unite ourselves into one country. Why? Because we said and decide, okay, Haiti is strong. They have the government and everything so if we join them and we get together we're gonna be stronger you know and uh, we're gonna protect ourselves as we didn't have the, French, the Spanish on this side and they didn't have the French on the other side they said okay the island is back our island and um, when I talked to um, Haiti there the leaders of the country over there he was not agree with it and he sent the troops to here and it took us for 22 years. From 1822 to 1844, um, we were related to the Haitian government. Haiti was the powerful, the, the government of the island, the one that had the control of everything was Haiti. And um, even then, they could be, you know, the reference of the island and be the government in general. Because we were not thinking on a new country. We were not thinking on a new country. We were thinking on just unite and get together and help each other like that. Unfortunately, as they didn't do that, and they took us, the situation turns, you know, different. Um, they wanted to dominate us, not the people and normal people, the people on top, the politicians, the leaders of the country, and them, they were the one, you know, the one to, get everything for themselves. So because of that they were doing the opposite to the people that spoke Spanish in here. So that situation was what provokes us to get a new country. Then Juan Pablo Duarte, which was a descendant of the Spanish, says, okay, we are not French, we are not Spanish, we are not Haitians, we have to have a new country. And that's how comes Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic was um, the name comes from the order of the Dominicos. Dominicos was the first uh, order of a priest that came to uh, to the Hispaniola island. Um, and uh, inspired on that, our father father named uh, the burning, you know, the burning uh, new country. You know, 